Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm doing an unboxing video of the Promise Pegasus 2 M4. Now, this is a RAID enclosure that supports uh, RAID 0, 1, uh, 5, 6, and 10. And I've used its bigger brother over here. This is the Pegasus 2 R4. This one accepts 3.5 inch uh, hard drives and accepts four of them. And there's models of this one that go up to six drives and eight drives as well. This one here, Amazon was clearing out. I bought the last one uh, and I got an amazing deal on it. And this one here will do, it's just for two and a half inch drives. And it comes with four 500 gig uh, SSDs in it. So um, I'm planning to, to use this and actually grow into it. I did recently a, a video on a four terabyte SSD setup in an, uh, an OWC enclosure, um, but what I'm planning to do is to move the two two terabyte drives from that into this, and eventually uh, have four two terabyte SSDs um, uh, when I start needing the extra space. Now, Promise does have a Pegasus three. Um, out that is a Thunderbolt 3 interface. The difference there is that it's Thunderbolt 3 instead of Thunderbolt 2. Um, but right now those are quite a bit more expensive and this, uh, I mean, like I said, I got an amazing deal on it. So let's uh, open it up and, and, and uh, give it a quick comparison to the, the R4. Um, box is really pretty small. I mean, even the box is about the same size as, as the whole enclosure for the other one. I don't have the other one's box here, but it was quite a bit, bit, bit quite a bit bigger than this. Uh, all right, so on top we got the usual box of accessories. I'll read this first, and if you have the SSD model, then do this, and if you have the hard drive model, then do this. Um, it comes with a Thunderbolt 2 cable. I'll be using that with a Thunderbolt 3 adapter. Uh, which should work okay, and it comes with a power cable. Uh, this one here uses a regular uh, computer power cable, like a larger one, and this one has a, a smaller um, uh, connection on it. So that's kind of more convenient, actually. Um, less less bulk all the way around, um, and a bunch of other manuals and so forth, quick start guides in different languages and stuff like that. Now inside, let's see here, got some foam, it's pretty well padded. So that's a good sign. And let's see here, oh wow, this is a lot smaller. All right. So this, yeah, this is quite a bit smaller than the other one. Alright, uh, and then silica gel packet, and here it is. Oh, that's tiny in comparison. I mean, it's just uh, like the size difference is just uh, uh, huge. This is definitely something I wouldn't mind placing on my desk, but the the other one, I, I had my desk for a little while, but it Finally, I just moved it moved it down because I was just like, you know what, I'd rather have the desk space back. Um, so on the back here, let's see, we don't, actually there's no fan on the back, which I'm a little surprised. I think there's a fan inside, so maybe it vents on the bottom or something. Uh, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and again, the power. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you could, it could be venting on the bottom. There's, there's some some uh, ventilation there uh, and then otherwise yeah um, and the front has the four drives to remove a drive you just push the button pull it out now oh, and inside are Samsung's Samsung 850 Evos so nice that's yeah that's great and it looks like there's four of those so so that's uh, I, I don't know that's that's encouraging I couldn't have asked for much better than that um, 
<laughs> except for two terabyte ones. Uh, so anyway, it, it comes all together with, with two terabytes worth of drives, uh, and I want to do it in, in RAID 5. I guess I didn't mention over there, with the OWC enclosure, I'm using it in a RAID 0, and while it's working fine, I, I would rather have some redundancy so that if something uh, goes wrong, uh, if one of the drives die, I don't have to worry about restoring from a backup. I can just uh, replace the drive while and still keep on getting work done. Um, so that's kind of important to me, and that's why it was worthwhile for me to pick this up, because as soon as I buy then a third 2 terabyte drive, I, I, can, I can use... It in here and I'll have just one extra step of redundancy um, for the whole system. So overall really really nice setup. Really looking forward to uh, getting it going. Now this here with the Thunderbolt 2 it maxes out at about from what I've read it's about 1300 megabytes a second. Um, there are certainly faster options out there um, especially if you go for like an NVMe drive. Um, that, that works as well but the, again, the thing is I really liked about this is that I could do it, uh, have a RAID 5 um, and not lose so much storage. I mean, if I, did, I could always do a mirror, but then if you, if you want a, a good amount of capacity, you're giving up uh, a, a lot of space. Um, but with, yeah, with this I can do a RAID 5, only give up one of the drives, and let's see, let me see if I have something here that's just like, oh, here, I just do like a... A CD. I mean, it's smaller than a CD on the front, and so forth. So that's that's real, real tiny. I like it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll have a Pegasus three version of this out at some point. Uh, but so far they don't. So, um, like I said, they have the Pegasus three, the R four, the R six, and the R eight, uh, which <laughs> would be quite a bit bigger. Gosh, if you had two of these and and, and did it that way, you could have the same eight discs. Um, anyway. I'll stop rambling about. Uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video. Uh, if you did, give it a like and be sure to subscribe. I, I post videos every couple of weeks on technology and photography from topics. Thanks for watching.